but then how do we actually practice that in our daily lives? Because as much as we do desire, as much as we want, does that mean that we should all just become monks and nuns, or just give up our jobs and just live on the street and not look after our kids and not have the latest clothes? What does it really mean? It's a, a difficulty for many Buddhism, for many Buddhists, trying to reconcile our lifestyles with the idea that suffering, that suffering is caused by craving. So I'm going to investigate what that really means especially in our lives today. And I thought we can actually start by just you know, knowing that our present world uh, is in great danger because of the untrammeled or unrestricted craving of our species, always wanting more and more. And obviously that cannot be sustained. Uh, a few years ago we were talking about ozone layers, now we are talking about global warming. Interesting to see what comes next. But it all seems to come by just you know, using too many resources. And it's tough being a modern Western person to see how can we actually deal with this? Because yeah, maybe once we've finished our house then we can actually start to worry about global warming. Or once we've got what we need then we can actually uh, try and help other people. And unfortunately that sometimes that's not really sufficient actually to save our future. And we see like so many wars and so many arguments and so many competition over limited things that we wonder, you know, is this the world we really want to bequeath to our children and is this the world we really want to live in ourselves? 